We are going to replace the bigger size reinforcing bar with smaller one according to design and code. When you don't have required size of steel bar available in market and it is required to change that dia bar with second size bar which is available. In that case you can do it according to design and code. If you don't comply with the criteria, the design strength of RCC member will not be maintained. So let's see how can we replace bars alternately. Let's suppose we have column of some cross section. There are 8 main bars of number 6 dia. Number 6 dia bar means diameter of bar equals to 6 over 8 inches which becomes 0.75 inch. Required area of steel in column is equal to product of area of single number 6 dia bar and total numbers of bars given in column cross section. Table in the right side is showing the bar size, diameter, cross sectional area and weight per unit length of different sizes of bars. Area of number 6 dia bar is 0.44 square inches. Multiply this area with 8 number of bars, we get 3.52 square inches the overall designed area of steel. Note that required area is actually the area of steel which is designed for the required strength of column to make it capable of supporting the floor loads etc. As we are replacing number 6 with number 5 tire bar, so required numbers of number 5 tire bar is equal to total area of steel divided by area of single number 5 tire bar. Dividing 3.52 square inches with value of area of steel of bar size number 5 which is equal to 0.31 square inches we have answer 11.35 which is approximately equal to 12. Now we can arrange like this. We can say that 8 bars of size number 6 can be replaced with 12 bars of size number 5 